Good morning, everybody. We're here on our way to Carol Wright's place, Melodic Farms. A beautiful horse here. What's up, good girl? Best part of the job is being with the horses. Love my job because of the horses. Let's see. Put me shoe. It's very, very important. Like if you lose your shoe on the trail and you don't wrap it, what happens is all that hoof wall when the horse is walking, it walks a little bit, it turns, and all of a sudden where those nail holes were, the foot will break up and start to break. So if your horse pulls a shoe, you know, it's common to get like a diaper and some duct tape and you wrap it around the horse's foot. That always makes it so much easier for your horse to get the shoe put back on and for your ferret. All right, everybody. So what we're gonna be doing right now is I didn't get a shoe this horse last time. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this horse jog and just to make sure that there's nothing standing out that uh, I need to be aware of. So I'm just looking for head bobbing and any kind of, you know, indications that the horse might be off. So the horse is pretty willing to go forward. His ears are forward. Perfect tempo, good jog. He's gonna move a lot better and be a lot more comfortable after we get some new shoes on him. So unless it's a really clean pool and you have the shoe, you know, you might not go right into nailing your own shoes on. Why is this horse in aluminum? What do you do with this horse? What's this, this digger? Digger, he's just a two foot hunter. He's a two foot hunter? Yeah. And do you uh, take him to a lot of shows? Or a whole lot, he's like 18. Uh -huh. He's an amateur that rides him. She's a size lady. Okay. And she probably rides solid four times a week. Okay, so that's always the question of whether to put them in aluminum or steel. And you know, I can talk to the trainer. Aluminum are good for the first two weeks and then they wear out and your horse eats through them. A lot of these horses are a lot bigger than they used to be. So the aluminum doesn't hold up as well. I shoot a lot of hunters, so we have to put them in aluminum, but I don't necessarily recommend it. So we'll see. The problem with aluminum is they just wear out so fast. That's why we, I recommend steel. What's the reason, do you want them to stay in aluminum? Are you going to horse a lot of horse shows with them? What's your thoughts on the aluminum? You know, they eat through the aluminum so fast that they kind of like, by the time they get done, they, all, they almost look like a four point shoe because they're so worn out. They'll be more comfortable in the steel. Most definitely. But like like say, if for some reason you're like, oh, I want to have them back into aluminum, we can always do that. Or if you have a big show coming up, we can always, uh, we can always you know, change them back into aluminum for you if that's, you know, what you really want. All right? This whole front of this toe has uh, been worn out. And then also if you look here, you can see where these heels have been hitting the ground so hard that they're actually worn out the pad and start to wear out some of the shoe. So that's where, what happens is now all of a sudden the shoe, instead of the horse getting like traction, it, it breaks over really quick. And so that makes, for the hunter, makes them have a lot more action. My recommendation is for aluminum. If your horse is gonna be competing at the really high levels and you're trying to win the hack, and that's your most important thing because you're trying to get points to go back east or to do you know, certain competitions, then yeah, go ahead and use the aluminum. If you're just gonna have your horse at home and it's a hunter, you don't necessarily need, you don't need the aluminums because they just wear out so fast they don't absorb concussion, it's just pointless. You'd rather your horse be comfortable than have flashy looking shoes for two weeks. So that's my, my take on the aluminums. All right, back to shoeing. This is what we use, it's a magnet here. So I can just run over and it gets all the nails. But when you can see all this separation in here, you want to clean it out and pack it with something. And this is actually Magic Cushion. It's a great product that we use a lot of. I'm putting this in all the separation. 
We're gonna put this where all the separating is. I'm gonna coat this. What that does is that allows, that makes to where no sand or little gravel things can get up in there and pack up in the foot. So that's why we put that stuff in. A lot of guys don't do that. And by not doing that, all the, you get sand and rocks and gravel. So it's so important to do that, to actually take the time and pack it. Boy. So another day in the life with Coast to Coast Equestrian, sharing knowledge with you guys, experience and knowledge, and letting you guys have a little insight of what goes on in our day. All right, have a good one. We'll see you next time.